Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to the uh, group we have, the Voxer group, uh, or anyone else who discovered uh, reading uh, John Berryman's Dream Songs. My name's Alan, and I'm just about at, uh, some people in the group are ahead, some are uh, just starting out, and I'm at like part three where we're done with the 77 dream songs and we're on to his toy, his dream, his rest which is dedicated to Mark Van Doren who was a professor of Berryman's and a poet and also to the sacred memory of Delmar Schwartz who's a writer. I'll put up his little bio up here. Screenshot. Uh, whom I, I've never read. And then there's some dedications. I'm not going to read them all. Or not dedications, but uh, 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 epigraphs. And one from like uh, Sir Francis Ch Chickester in Sydney. I don't know who that is. I'll read uh, Keats to Shelley. I am picked up and sorted to a pip. My imagination is a monastery and I am its monk. I'll, I'll Google that, see what comes up. But, so part uh, three, I'm going to read uh, Dream Song 78 and 79. So, op post number one and op post number two. And as far as I can tell, op post is uh, like Latin for uh, posthumous work. And in the second uh, song, he mentions an obituary in the New York Times. Now, is this Henry's obituary, or who, whose is it? So, uh, Dream Song 78. Darkened his eye. His wild smile disappeared. Inapprehensible his studies grew. Nourished he less and less. His subject body with good food and rest. Something bizarre about Henry, slowly seared. Off, unlike you and you, smaller and smaller, till in question stood. His eye teeth and one block of memories, these were enough for him, implying commands from upstairs and from down. Walt's orbic flex triads of Heigler would incorporate, if you please, into the know-how of the American bard. Embarrassed Henry heard himself a beam, and the younger Stephen Crane of a powerful memory of pain. These stood the ancestors relaxed and hard, whilst Henry parts were fleeing. Notice the rhyme scheme in that, and how uh, it's uh, the same throughout. A, B, C, C, A, B. A, B, C, C, A, B. With a slant rhyme in that uh, middle stanza. Smaller and smaller, till in question stood, his eye teeth in one block of memories. These were enough for him implying commands from upstairs and from down, that him and down is a slant rhyme. Dream Song 79, Alp Post Number 2. Whence flew the litter whereon he was laid? Of what historic stuff was Warlock Henry made? And questions of that sort perplexed the bulging cosmos. Oh, in short, was Sandalwood in good supply when he flared out of history? And the obituary in the New York Times into the world of generosity, creating the air where are and can be only heroes, statues and rhymes, signal his fiery passage, a mountainous sea. 
the occlusion of a star. Anything afterward of high lament. Let to his giant faults appear as sent, together with his virtues down, and let this day be his throughout the town. Region and cosmos, let he freeze our blood with terrible returns. Here we have a great rhyme scheme of uh, A, A, B, B, C, C. Then it switches it up in the second stanza with A, B, C, A, B, C. And then the third stanza is almost identical to the first with A, A, B, B, C, and then a no rhyme at the end. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Try read them, reading them aloud for yourself. And, uh, if you go through and, uh, you know, set up the rhyme scheme first, like, just like I do with the ABCs and, uh, before, then you can kind of get where to put the, uh, emphasis on the, uh, on the rhythm of the lines itself. So, thanks again. Like, subscribe, make a comment, because I'll, I'll, I'll reply. Talk to you later. Bye.